Hey, my name is Matt Starr and I repair saxophones. And today I'd like to show you something. I'm gonna give it a try. I'm gonna do it on camera. If it works, I'll publish it. If it doesn't, I'll figure out another way to fix this problem. But I've got a radio improved tenor um, that the bell's been pushed in a little bit. It's a little too close here compared to over here and these are not in the right spot anymore. So this got overhauled somewhere else, shipped and then got pushed in. And this bell to body brace has been like crushed down a little bit. Just went from being a little bit more like this to a little more like this, right? And what I want to do is fix that without having this peel off. Now these always come off right here and on silver plate it's difficult to have it look like it should, right? So I'm going to see if I can fix this without soldering it. And that means not really putting any pressure like on this particular spot. So I made a little widget, just a piece of steel that I rounded the edges on and then put like a little dent on either side and some Teflon that's thick enough to be strong enough. And what I'm going to do with some parallel jaw pliers I'm going to put this on either side. Let's see if you can see what's going on there. If I pull my light out maybe it'll be a little better. to be a little closer. Okay, and maybe I have altered that just enough. So let's go ahead and oh. sorry for the bad camera work. I'm going to go ahead and put the low B key back on. And you can see there's like a couple of different... Somehow you've... Oh, act podcast just started. You can see there's a couple of different um, pad impressions there. There's actually two in the front and only one in the back because this also got pushed down a little bit. I'm going to need to bring that back up so it doesn't hit just in the front. But right now we should be able to see if it's more centered over the resonator and over the if the key's more centered over the tone hole. So let's take a look. Let's see where we ended up. Okay. Now I've gone about halfway. I don't know if you can see. Let's see if we can get that to show up. I guess I need a leak light. Hopefully this isn't too bright that it blows it out. But if you look at those impressions, it's about halfway between. So a little bit more of that, which I'll do off camera, and we'll see if we can get farther. All right, so I did it one more time. And let's see if you can see. Boom. Right back where it came from. Now I'm going to go ahead and replace these pads anyways, because once that happens to a pad, it's just never going to seal right. But you can see that that looks a lot more correct than it did before. No harm, no foul. Didn't come unsoldered. No marks on the belt of body brace. And all I had to do was make this little thing. And when I use it, you can see the marks on the Teflon. Just put Teflon between it and the belt of body brace so it doesn't make any marks. That was it.